Wow, you know, it's the 8th year anniversary of uh, the emergence of Adbond and we want to say a big thank you to all our villa owners that have given us acceptance in the space of securing future space, family wealth creation and in the agro to home sector of the real estate industry. It's been cooking for a while from our school, the rest of Lagos. Agbalabes are known, was well, better from uh, a discussion with my partner, Benua Benia, and now uh, the session has uh, been a great one. I think I could remember 2018 was when I came on board yeah, to join the team. And as of 2019, I, I realized that a number of things were still on ground that we're trying to remodel and in good fashion. And I would say fast forward to 2024. It's been an interesting journey. S A A D D B B O O N N D. How we call it? Yeah, my name is Oluwagbe uh, Migadi Koya, the founder and uh, CEO at Adborn Avestano. I'm um, Stephen Ifeoluwa Oyemi. I'm the director of agriculture and logistics here at Mona Vista and I'm the co-founder and director of legal and finance of Mona Vista We were able to see way back that all the real estate companies that we have, they are more about sell land, do housing, and there is this gap of how can we transition from agro to home. We drafted a questionnaire to know the direction of it because Lagos State, we couldn't afford the land in last state, so we want to scale up practicing agro tomorrow because we want to set us and be unique in the industry, not doing the regular real estate, buying land, selling land, building assets, real estate. We want to stand unique. Our plan was to come up with a concept whereby we work with uh, people we have given a special name, agro-developers. Uh, I say in medicine, you know, people have areas of specialization. So we came up with a concept as well that would uh, enable farmers pick a niche, you know, stick to that niche and then work on that. So partner with them and then get to deliver projects. One of the difficult tasks in the agric space is getting people to work with to deliver our project. So we know that this is a space that can give a whole lot if only we can put so much into it. There is a place I grew up from in Yoruba, they call it Ibodile. And Ibodile means I grow to home. It's an experience that I have that actually really helped to also buttress the need to infuse agriculture in the direction of people that are actually purchasing landed property. Instead of them just living in fallow, we engage and we also advise them that why not let us use agriculture to give the best value appreciation to your land. We started with, let's bring some cooperative society, let, let's stay strong with them. And uh, we started with uh, Nigeria Vision Territory staff. Okay, bye to you. This uh, land, we plant cassava, maize, uh, maize for you. You get 40-50% uh, return in the uh, four months, six months, whichever. So we started, we gave some uh, farmers, agro developer, the omen to look at start. And uh, at the end of it, it was zero. So we were actually later on pizza to pay for. What I mean by that is we were selling land fine, but we're using all of the technology to pay the investor that invested in Hadrick because we promised our own. and we don't want the name of the brand to be So we try to keep up the pace. So since then we know that RI can never work. And we go with grow your own food. That if you want to do a feed your family. 
And if you really want to do a big, go big. With what we are doing at Adbond, the infusion of agrotourism in Africa, we allow people to be willing to be closer to nature because you cannot take human being away, away from nature. Nature is an element that people naturally want to be associated with. When we also imbibe and also preserve our own heritage and culture in line with agriculture, this agri thing can give rise to a borderless Africa that every African really desire, that they should be able to move, move within Africa to one African nations. And this will really make a, a big move and a great change in the continent called Africa. The continent have accepted agro to home. And also the, the, the people of Nigeria I've seen a need to secure future space for the next gen. You know, these are things that we, we, we really appreciate. And also the acceptance of the fact that they want to know where their food is actually also coming from is something that uh, uh, we've been able to achieve. And also uh, they realize that no matter their background, whatever they study, maybe medicine, agriculture, or lawyer, barrister, that having an agri project that is their own is something that we all should inclusively be part of as contributory efforts into the purpose of the continent, even beyond, beyond Nigeria. We are super grateful that we found uh, villa owners who find what we do as something that they want to plug in. So we've seen a future where we will become an icon in the sector where who we'll have mega partnership with the government in several ministry of uh, either housing, agriculture, and if not to see how uh, government can actually create another uh, ministry that we're going to be calling family welfare and wealth. And that will really help to see how government can contribute maybe into the food of, uh, of their citizen, and then their citizen can have access to land to run agriculture, to build their houses, and that will also in turn to become wealth for their citizens. So with that, I think there are future that we are looking like this and we believe we'll get there.